Hello and welcome to the show. Now, today's filmmaker employs a much wider array of tools than ever before. Cinema quality images can be created from stripped down lightweight cameras to fully loaded rigs. And this means a versatile support system is required. So here to discuss recent developments in their range is Michael Abalev from Miller Support, Camera Support, all the way from Australia. Hello, Michael. Uh, good to see you. Welcome to the show. Good eye. Thank you very much. Um, it's good to be with you. Yeah. Um, and um, it's um, thanks for the opportunity to uh, talk about our new uh, product. Um, and like you Great. say, there's 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 been a lot of movement um, in um, in the cinema uh, market, and 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 sometimes we we worry about. You know, do we need to get a big head? Do we need a small head? Are the cameras big? Are the lenses small? All that sort of stuff. Um, and so yeah. this product builds onto the um, existing Compass X range. Um, and what we try to do with this product, which is the RX, um, is to give it some versatility. And, and, and the versatility comes in the, in the form of different mounts. Uh, you're not limited by different adapters from 100 mil down to 75 or 75 to 100, etc. Um, the, the 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 user can wow. choose whichever adapter they want, and it's a lot easier to um, to 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 execute. Um, so that's what we mean by versatility. Um, and I'm happy yeah. to go through some of the features if you if you if you um, to discuss these. Yeah. yeah. So Michael, this this is this is aptly called the Artex Naked, isn't it? I mean, let let's just recap. Why, why naked? Uh, naked was um, all about uh, giving the choice uh, to, to the end user and say, look, you don't have to uh, order a stock standard head um, and, and then sort of think about which bits you want, which bits you want, don't want. So you, you take parts off, you put parts on. So you kind of go into this accessory type route. Um, what this product is designed to do is kind of say, Look, tell us what you want. It's it's a bit of a mass customization type of approach, um, and rather than us telling um, which cat number and what you know the final product will be, um, it's about the customer telling us or choosing uh, mm. which part of the product they want. So, for starters, what where when I buy a an Artex naked head, what what do I get? And what do I need to add on? What else do I need to buy in order to have an, yeah, an operating system? The, the choices are that um, um, you can choose a standard um, a Miller camera plate, um, a side loaded okay. uh, camera plate, or you can choose a new um, Versa plate. Uh, and the Versa plate is a, um, uh, an, an industry kind of um, standard uh, plate. Uh, it's compatible yeah. with Manfrotto and um, uh, um, uh, Sackler plates uh, with some that added uh, features to it that, that, that makes it into something that, uh, again, the, um, the, the end user uh, could choose. The other choices that the end user can make uh, at the time of purchase uh, is the different uh, mounts. So you can choose um, a 75 mil bowl. Um, you can choose a uh, 100 mil uh, adapter. Uh, and that's how the product will be shipped. Um, to swap the product from one to the other is extremely simple, um, and 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 that's that's the basic essence of, of what a naked fluid head is. Um, it's designed to be customized. So the the versus yeah. plate you showed there is is that a side mount on there? Uh, yes, absolutely. Um, I've sort of uh, taken one here. So. Um, it, it's a side mount, and the way we differentiate it is, is providing a uh, an orange uh, an orange um, uh, release lever, and it's a true a tried and tested uh, tried and tested um, uh, base plate. Um, and the other big benefit with it is that we've made it um, completely reversible, so that it doesn't matter whether it's uh, front or back; it'll work perfectly with with the Miller. Uh, base plates as well as um, other um, uh, industry standard base plates um, and that's 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 the intention of this plate uh, we have additionally made the plate uh, 
orange, um, painted orange, and that's to provide a very clear differentiation. Obviously, you don't want to grab uh, an incorrect camera plate. Um, and we felt uh, this color is quite, um, A, it suits the, the general uh, color scheme and the palette of the, of the head, uh, but also it's very easy to identify and um, uh, we hope it will catch on. So uh, th th this is a, um, you know, this is a, a you know, buy bits and, you know, a flexible, as you say, versatile kit. Have you, uh, or system, have you got any kits that you've made up to, you know, can I just buy like a, a starter kit that's got, you know, 75 mil and a uh, Manfrotto compatible plate, for example, absolutely. or, a, you know, 100 mil with yeah, a Yeah, absolutely. Plate. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, the, the whole idea is that you can buy this plate by itself and, and, and the beauty, I guess the, the, the added benefit is that um, these plates are compatible, reverse compatible uh, with all of the Compass X heads that we've, uh, we've designed up to now. So you can quite easily just simply convert your current kit um, with this base plate and uh, lo and behold, you've got yourself a, a more um, accessible so you don't have to be thinking whether it's a Miller camera plate or not um, it just gives more flexibility for a for a um, for a production set it sounds like it's a rental company's dream Michael uh, look it, it's um, uh, rental companies are a, a large part of the business it, it, it provides a lot of flexibility uh, for end users to to rent their gear uh, to try uh, to try different gears, and I guess we don't want people to be constrained. Um, some people are, you know, they, they they will always buy a Miller camera plate. Others will not, and we have to be realistic about that, and we have to be flexible. And that's the sort of level of flexibility that we're providing to our customers. Um, I also wanted to just go through a couple of other little features that we've introduced with this uh, head. Um, one of mm. which is that we we're now offering um a um i'll put it a bit close to the camera i'm offering a uh, a yeah. standard array mount um and again uh, the, the the benefit of that is that um all of the other accessories that ARI is offering uh are now compatible with 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 our product uh very easy to mount uh additionally we've got our um accessory mount which is which can sit on the on on either side of the of the fluid head and again, it's got a standard ARRI mount um, that um, users can, can, can utilize. Um, additional be benefits that we've done is that the, the accessory mount can also be reversed. So it can rotate 90 degrees and again, okay. giving maximum yeah. versatility uh, in the setup. Quite often, um, it is difficult. Uh, sometimes things get in the way and you want to be able to turn things around very quickly. Um, and that's, that's, that's the idea. Another very small modification um, is that we've introduced a small adapter sleeve. Um, I'll just take this out of my hat. It's a very simple, simple idea. But what it does, it converts our standard um, uh, panhandle bar to accept a, a light rail, which is the 15 millimeter rail. And it just simply goes in. Uh, you can put it on the side right. of the on the side of the head, and you now have availability of um, all sorts of pan handles and accessories that oops i should put a bit of drag on here um oops, excuse me <laughs> <laughs> so that, that that's the plan the plan is now you've got a a, a ready to go 15 mil um uh, rod um, that you could use for all sorts of things so that that's where we're coming from as far as um uh, versa yeah, plate nice. and as far as rdx is concerned um the other thing i wanted to show you very quickly is that the basic the basic premise of the head is is a um a flat mount so the the, the head can is is very very um oops i'll just take the um take the uh, claw ball off mm. and so the head is um obviously is designed to go directly as a um, um flat mount onto a sliders or jibs, for example. And um, uh, we've also provided some additional mounting, which is via a uh, quarter inch uh, thread. And, and the benefit of that is that, that you can, I'll just show you the bottom of it. 
the benefit is that you can yeah. now mount onto these two uh, quarter inch threads. Now, these can be mounted uh, onto a, for example, onto a camera plate. So you can mount the head directly onto a camera plate. And that could be a Dutch setup, for example, or it could be on a slider. So it kind of creates additional uh, additional versatility um, in, 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 in starting off with, a, with a, a flat mount. Brilliant. Thank you very much for coming in and, and, and seeing us today, Michael. And uh, do check out millertripods.com for all the information you need and get in touch with your local reseller, I guess, if you want to have a look and have a play. Thank you to Media Proxy for their continuing support of Kit Plus TV. And thank you all for watching. See you next time.